Hi guys, now here's a scam, and I'll call it uh, a virgin scam because uh, it was the first time I went uh, to the Philippines and uh, you guys uh, go there the first time, uh, you're in an area or country that um, doesn't have the same uh, ethics and uh, morals as uh, your own usually. So if you're from, uh, you know, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, European, most European countries, uh, um, you are coming into a country um, uh, where a lot of poor people exist and uh, even the middle class sort of people, some of them only live on a couple of meals a day. So uh, what happens is these people, I can't blame them, they're trying to um, uh, scam you to some degree. Uh, I don't even know if you can call it scam, but it's um, uh, making, the, making the prices as high as possible. Uh, surely there are scams in the Philippines, no doubt about that. But anyway, this is with the horse and cart. Now, every time I've been on one, I've been on them three times. And uh, once I jumped on it, I went up this uh, esplanade here on uh, Manila Harbour, and the guy said 100 pesos. And two minutes into the ride, he said, Mate, we'll make it 150 pesos. And I said, No, mate, you said 100. It's 150. It's 100. And he said, no, no, let's make it 150 and all this crap. And then an another time I uh, was on one of these things and um, the guy said, uh, watch oh, that's right, I gave him a tip and it was like 20 pesos or something like that. Tipping is not part of the Australian culture, by the way. It's uh, it's American thing mostly. But anyway, uh, and the guy got very irate because of this, this, this small tip and he wanted to argue with me, you know. So, uh, but... The really bad thing that happened to me um, is, um, I'll tell you, I'll show you something here. Um, we'll just go to here. So, this is a Tropicana Suites here, and uh, this is the first time I stayed there in the Philippines in 2012. So, the guy, I got on, I was walking down the street in the night time uh, in Manila, and uh, uh, a guy come by uh, with his um, horse and uh, trolley and he said, hey, hey, buddy, get in, get in. And uh, I said, oh, okay, cool. I said, can you take me to the, do you know where Tropicana Suites is? He said, yeah, yeah. It was like about uh, 10 minutes away uh, on the horse and trolley and he had his daughter in the back there as well. So um, here I am, I jumped in and I was sitting next to his daughter and uh, he was talking to me, he's praising me and all this sort of stuff. Oh, you're Australian, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I knew straight away then uh, the price was false and all that. But what he did, uh, instead of taking me uh, to the Tropicana Suites here, he came from the back the back way in. I'll just just show you. Um, Suites, uh, you got your kitchen and refrigerator and stove in there and all that. And walking up that so way. Just go to Robinson. Um, uh, a lot of these places, I should say. Um, so right down the end here. Bookings.com. So about here. Uh, where that tree is over there. That's about 100 metres down the road from the Tropicana. It was pitch black and there was people uh, asleep on the sidewalks. Uh, some people were sitting up and all this sort of stuff. Pitch, pretty well pitch black down there. He jumps out of the horse and trolley. Uh, he's got his whip. They've got a whip in their hand, right? And he stands in front of me. I'm sitting, still sitting in the um, trolley. Just jumps out. He, um, so I, I could, could not jump out. He stood right in front of me. Uh, so I couldn't put my legs down, and he said 1,500 pesos, and I said, what? Uh, 1,500 pesos is a fair fair uh, amount of money. Um, I was paying uh, 2,600 pesos a night at that Tropicana, but anyway, um, and he wouldn't let me go, and I, he finally moved away a little bit, but he sort of uh, stood back only about two feet, and uh, he basically had his whip uh, ready, and, uh, and I'm looking to my right, and there's all these bodies and people looking on the side, and I'm I'm screaming, I'm saying, I'm swearing at him, f this, f that, uh, but I uh, relented and I gave the guy the 1500, and I said, uh, give give your daughter uh, some of that money as well. And he said she would been been in an accident and uh, was mentally uh, ill or something, uh, mentally damaged. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so I made a really bad mistake there. I shouldn't have um, given the guy the money, but it's, you, you got to understand, when you're brand new to this country, um, you're disorientated. You are disorientated. And you're not certain uh, and all this sort of stuff, you know. So uh, um, I ended up giving him the money. Now, I walked back to the Tropicana. I had to walk back. The guy wouldn't even 
uh, take me all the way back there. <laughs> so um, it was only 100 metres down the road. But um, anyway, I've, I got back to my hotel and uh, when I was there with the guy, uh, I realised the, the girl, his daughter, had moved into my seat where I was sitting after I got out of the, uh, uh, out of the um, trolley. And um, I thought, that's a bit strange. And then anyway, when I got my hotel, I found my camera it was gone. So it fell out of my bag, or she um, she uh, lifted it out of my bag. So it wasn't an expensive camera, but it had like uh, 80 really good um, photographs on it, you know, that I was going to show friends and family and all that. So just be aware, guys, uh, as I said, when you jump out of a taxi as well, you're disorientated. You're in a new country, uh, all of a sudden you get hit hit by a blast of heat and humidity, uh, you got people yelling at you, people with signs, people, officials saying, come here, come, go this way, go with them, all this sort of stuff. Uh, just be very, very careful, that's all I can say. Um, uh, I don't recommend, I would never go on a trolley again, but I'm not saying that um, they're all going to rip you off, these guys, you know? but they're, um, you know, uh, who knows, but uh, it's up to you do your due diligence and research before you go, this is for people who've never been to the Philippines before and who are thinking of going, so thank you